Wimbabwe is part of the Uganda story. Uganda, like most African countries, is naturally endowed with natural resources, uh, fertile soils, uh, 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 good weather. Uh, so the economy is nature-based. Almost 80% of the population is dependent on the, enviro on the, on the environment and natural resources, especially the agricultural sector. Uh, but of course, we've seen the degradation uh, of the environment undermining the livelihoods of these people who are about 80% of the population. Our argument is that the restoration of rivers and indeed other river systems that are degraded, the restoration of the forests that have been destroyed because uh, would actually uh, 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 would, would restore the sanctity and the integrity of the, of the natural resources and Uganda can cash on the abundance of those natural resources to, to transform itself into middle level status uh, uh, by 2040, as provided for in the in the national vision 2040. Uh, uh, for example, we realize that the that the, 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 the nature, the forest cover has been destroyed at the rate of 2.6 annually. At the moment, the only 9% of the forest cover re, uh, remains, especially that the, the natural forests. Uh, while there have been attempts in in the tree planting. Most of these trees actually are on the private land. They belong to private individuals who have planted them for commercial reasons. And, they, and they, while they tend to restore the environmental stability, but then soon they will be cut down. So there is a need for a legal policy framework to make sure that actually even these forest uh, private planters don't destroy the forests and therefore destroy the integrity of the environmental capital of the country. Uh, I should also uh, 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 commend government that government for a long time uh, uh, had not had overlooked the importance of natural resources and the environment. And most of the budget, uh, uh, the national budget, provided really very little money to the, to the sector. But to date, uh, we see government, there is a major shift, government appreciating uh, uh, the need to invest seriously some money from the, from the from the budget, we've seen the government come up to develop a, a national green economy strategy. Uh, even in the, the current national government plan, uh, the third one, uh, government has prioritized the environment and natural resources as a major important sector, and uh, we have worked with them. For example, just recently, Accord and other partners having uh, analyzed the budget framework paper, presented, uh, presented the paper to the parliament uh, uh, making a case for in increased financing of natural resources and environment, and it was well received. Even the Ministry of Finance, uh, for we see some positive uh, attitude and shift in terms of natural resource uh, financing. Uh, uh, they, 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 uh, they, they, they realize that you cannot achieve Vision 2040 if you don't put substantive investment in the restoration of the degraded environment. We've seen government drop uh, interests like to the Gazette uh, uh, Magira uh, Game uh, Magira Forest Reserve. Uh, uh, and indeed, now the president has come up to, to say that it, it is important for this uh, forest to be preserved because it is the forest that generates this, the water from which we have been able to construct the, 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 the dams to generate electricity for energy. Uh, energy for industrialization and protection and production. So that shift in the government uh, uh, realization of the importance of natural resources in the economic transformation for me is very, very important. Of course, there is a lot to, uh, to be desired, for example, uh, that, that needs to be worked on. We see some positive shift, but uh, we realize that there are still challenges, especially uh, while Uganda has very good enabling uh, legal policy and institutional framework, sometimes operationalization uh, uh, of these institutions uh, becomes uh, a challenge. So we need the government to implement the, 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 the legal policy and institutional framework so that we just don't have frameworks that are not operationalized. Uh, <clears throat> as an organization, uh, a court uh, uh, is very committed that they uh, support government of Uganda and indeed governments in Africa through our through, through the, uh, the, the, green, the, the, the green economy coalition
to restore the integrity of the environment, but also transitioning the, the, the economies from brown economies to green economies. Green economies that are fair, that are inclusive for all, that are uh, sustainable in nature, uh, that value the, 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 the environment, because that's what the green economies are about. It is inclusive, it values nature, uh, 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 it makes sure that the, 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 the planet Earth is respected because it has limits, because we realize that actually our mother Earth, uh, it, it doesn't need us, we need it as much as possible, but it has reached the limits. So uh, we are privileged to be part of the 50 uh, members of the Green Economy Coalition uh, uh, spread across the world that are helping countries to transition to green economies from brown economies. The brown economies are those that are not fair, that are not inclusive, that do not value nature, that destroy the environment, and they are not sustainable in the long run. And for example, they are characterized by massive destruction of the forest, uh, massive uh, air, air pollution, uh, wide waste over the divide, a lot of inequalities. Why the green economies, people, uh, 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 there is inclusive growth. They are fair. They don't leave anyone behind. The environment is protected. The environment is enhanced. Uh, Mother nature is valued. So uh, that transition is very, very important. And the, uh, uh, we think that the time is now. Time is now. And, and therefore, the, the, the African Forum on the Green Economy is very timely for the African countries. Uh, there are a number of themes uh, uh, that have been earmarked. Actually, the forum takes place starting from 1st April. Uh, next month, I want to appeal to everybody to go online because we are responding to the coronavirus uh, a uh, 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 crisis that we still can organize this forum online. So I want to appeal to people to register online and we, so that we can engage a number of thematic areas, include agriculture, include water, finance, infrastructure, and data. It would be good that you all join in this discussion so that we can influence policy shifts, so that we can influence the budget architecture to put more money uh, in the green economies that actually would lead to sustainable development and the fairer world that we all would like to live in. I thank you.